Hello, welcome back to PlayStation Access. My name's Nathan and I'm here with Dave. Hello. Dave, today, uh, just as you left me, I was about to start playing uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and then I did play it uh, for about an hour and a half. And yeah, it was, it's another brilliant game. It was great. That you've been playing. Do you know what? I haven't. Yeah, this was a scheduling thing because, you know, I'm not even the, the hugest Assassin's Creed fan. I haven't had time, I've not made time in my life. You know, and then uh -huh. it's, and suddenly there are loads of them. But here are, here are six things I really liked about it. Who made right? the schedule, Nate? Uh, that was also me. That's yeah. Fine. What a coincidence. Tell me the six things. Come um, on, let's go. Yes. Well, number one, it's actually really funny. Okay. Uh, I see, didn't expect that. No, nor did I. And, you know, like, um, I, I, I've played them at pl uh, places like this, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've toyed with Assassin's Creed. Right. And it is quite serious. Often, yes. In the past. Quite po faced. There are, it has its moments, but, but yeah. But its heroes are like cool heroes. <laughs> right. And this time. What happens is you, uh, I, I think there's a storm and you arrive at an island in this part of the mission that we uh, were playing. Right. You arrive at like an island and you, you not your scheduled destination and you're like, the guy comes off and he's all like, yeah, and you can play as a, well, that's to come later. Actually. Okay. That's one of my other points. What, but your character stri strides off right. the boat and then he's sick. Okay. And I was just like, this is a very different tone right from everything we've seen before and it continued there was like banter with like one of the guys who works for you and i was like i'm he i'm down for this, this okay is cool that's um, good number one okay it's quite, it's quite funny it's, there's some humor in there there is yeah um ancient greece dave number two right ancient greece is a place i would really like to go on holiday and is the setting for this game you know uh yes it is right and also it has struck me i wrote these down earlier no one else has checked these, and, and it's and we're quite into E3 now. Yes. I'm not sure that all of these are going to make as much sense as a normal video. Right. Because I, I was quite surprised I wrote that down okay. <laughs> as number two. But it is a very, it's an incredible saying. Um, well, wait, wait, wait. L l imagine that I don't know anything about this Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Okay. Because that's basically true. Can yes. you, like, just go into a little bit of basics? So we're set in ancient Greece. Like, it's, what, it's set what in ancient Greece. Do we have a... Sorry? Yes. What? Uh, so what year? What kind of period is that do you know i don't know ancient dave but as in okay so like things Old. like contemporary to things like the acropolis and yeah yeah i believe so right. um, but but myth is still in the past because there are some references to kind of um one of the places you visit is the birthplace of achilles and that kind of thing so right okay I mean, this is called that i think it's you know apocryphal which is a greek word it is um Very well we done. should get on with my point number two which is um that it, it looks incredible and, and i know this because i took a boat for a boat ride and I went into, I was either attacked or the waves were too strong and my boat broke. So I had to swim and I was like, you know, I'm all right. And eventually it was taking a long time. I was right. a long way out to sea. And eventually the guy uh, fast traveled me back to my, my big ship. But I was like, dude, I was quite- oh, that I, wasn't supposed to happen. I know I was, no, I was just messing around. I know I was like five minutes away from land, but like I was enjoying, like the water is really clear. So but you were in the, the middle of the med. Um, I don't know, if, no, it wasn't, maybe it was the med. I don't know well, enough about geography. Uh, yes, it was. I'm going to stick to the things I know about, which is that this game looks really great. It's very sunny, sun-baked, really bright sand, incredible vistas, statues that you can climb upon. Nice. Um, just sweeping Mediterranean loveliness. So, is this set on the mainland? or I mean, All Greece over, famously man. has many islands. All like over. That. And actually, the island I was on is not part of the main story. You just don't have to go there, which okay. is crazy. That's really cool. There were hours of content there. Wow. Um, yeah, they call it regional content, apparently. Okay. And it's just stuff that you don't need to see. It's like side side stuff. Um, oh, fantastic. I'm going to move on to number three. You can play as two different characters. You can be... Right. Um, that's, that's very new. Yeah, man or lady. The okay. lady is uh, Cassandra, who is the one I'm going to talk about the most because that's the person that I played as the most. But uh, in the trailer, you get to see... Um, get to the, the like the man version too and one of the things that they I mean I, I like this because you know there's been some um, Assassin's Creed where you know like it's been a lead man lead woman um, mm. and and this time they've gone full in in the fact that um, you decide uh, yeah you decide but also it goes with the, uh, my next point number four which is that this time they've gone deeper on the um, uh, relationships and dialogue options right so there are um, there are different dialogue options for everybody you talk to and sometimes it's just you know, do I want to dig in? Did I really listen to that cutscene? Do you want me to go over anything again? Right. Sometimes it's actual choices, like you can romance people. Okay. Um, and the wow. Whole, the whole point about being uh, there being men and women is that you can romance. I I think the idea being, you know, a lot of this stuff went down in Greece. In terms True. of their, in terms of there just being, um, you know, fewer kind of uh, taboos, more um, just more permissiveness about who dated yeah. who, dated. Um, uh, and so you can just choose to romance who, who you want no matter who you're playing with. Okay. So those two kind of work in tandem. 
Uh, and while I was playing as a male lead, um, mm -hmm. I did have a conversation with a guy, and he got like pretty. <laughs> I mean, we were like organizing a raid, right? And he was like, you know, he got the. Um, I suggested like quite a violent plan of action, and he right. was like, uh, you know, like pretty rough and ready then. And I was like, basically, you like it rough and ready then? And he was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was like, are we making a plan or like, what's going on? Um, so that and and apparently um, the uh, uh, it's hard because I think you know a lot of these things take quite a long time to develop when you're playing the game. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like. While you're, you know, they take a long time to kind of come to fruition in your story and whatever. But um, so I was being told um, by one of the guys making the game as I was playing it through that um, you don't have to touch any of the romance stuff if you don't want. But if you do, you will. It will unlock, you know, different bits of different missions and content depending on who it is that you decide to get close right. to. Right. So well, I mean, knowing me, Nath, I won't be able to romance anybody. I so famously though. tried in Mass Effect 2, and nobody was responsive. <laughs> I don't know why. So I feel that's probably likely to happen in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm sorry, um, man. I have a very quick question. Yeah, yeah. I think it's probably a stupid question, but just to be clear. Yes. When you choose to play as either a man or a woman, it's the same character. Just, you know, it's like, no, no, like commandish, like, not, you know, not like I, Mass Effect. And honestly, I don't know whether the other character will still be there. I, I don't think so. Okay. But no, they're, they're like, it's not just the male and female it's version. It's not like David oh. and Davina. No, not not quite. I don't right, think. okay. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, number five, new combat skills. Yes. Which I just like. And mostly because everyone's seen, they call it the Spartan kick. Um, right. Because your yeah. character is from Sparta. Other people um, did kick. Uh, yeah, I know, and it, yeah, it turns out then, and then we learnt more, and it turns out on Twitter when they did the reveal, where they did the tease of the like the big kick off a cliff, there were some people who were, like, everyone was like, oh, it's like 300, and then some people were like, well, just because it's a kick, there were other people have done kicks, and it turns out it is a deliberate reference because your character is from Sparta. Well, so, there you go. Uh, and yeah, you try during normal combat, you charge up like an energy bar, okay, and then that allows you to access. Um, a range of moves which are if you press L1 it kind of goes into that move set and right. they're then mapped to the D-pad I think uh, or maybe the face buttons but it's basically like you know that you have four options you can swap them in and out you learn new ones and then you can decide what your loadout is kind and of they're thing. not necessarily kind of lethal like as nope. in they're not finishes or anything they're just more more powerful they can attacks, finish but yeah they're just they're more not, powerful attacks yeah. so like the, it's not a guarantee I mean, if you kick um, so I really enjoyed the combat and I did lots of um I was particularly enjoying the naval combat, okay. uh, and I was boarding other ships and doing the kick, to, and I was kicking people into the sea. Right, that I didn't was know pretty, naval combat was in it. That's that great. That was pretty lethal. Yeah, man, it's really good. And you can, you know, you, I was basically just charging people with my. I don't know if it's a galleon. I'm not I was sure about say, the right word. Can you, can you kind of describe the ships? Are they because they're obviously they're not kind of like galleons like pirate ships because they're a bit. No. I'd imagine they're bigger. They're well, there's a, a, my ship which is kind of like my mobile base almost, right. where all my guys are. Um, that's like, that is more kind of, it's not quite galleon, but it's like a big old, it's a big boat. Yeah, Dave. a big boat, that's big, fair enough. Yeah. Is it wind powered? Yes, okay. uh, no, 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 it's rowing powered because that's, how, that's how we get the charge on. Right. But no, it does have a mast, so it's both. It's dual, but it's a combi ship. Right, is there a sail on the mast? Yes. Okay, right, cool. Uh, yeah, there is, yeah. And, and there are, uh, so I was attacking all sorts of ships. One of the missions is go and smash up some ships. So I did. Cool. Um, uh, and yeah, some of them are very small and you basically, as soon as you crash into them, they're dead. Um, and some of them are um, a bit bigger. Um, right. So it's, it's... Volleys of arrows from my guys, um, like uh, fire lit spears when I get up close. Right, I was going to say, obviously no gunpowder so no cannon at this time it's no all, more it's bow and arrow and fire fire into the sails Ooh, that's and not nice crashing boat, through people it's not what you need um so yeah i was doing spartan kick off that when i boarded somebody uh, that that killed them quite effectively um and some of the other stuff that those kind of that extra level of moves can do there's one of them which is a heal for yourself right um, one of them which will take a shield off um an enemy okay uh, and uh, obviously that makes him easier to uh kill but do it, you use the shield yourself you, then you or smack you them in the face with it, right? Uh, and then you carry on. And um, one where you kind of you can you can uh, vanish, and that restores your stealth. Okay, That's yeah. Another one, or I've got one which is like a crowd control, kind of smashing um, a weapon into the ground, and everyone falls down. And now they have a very important question. Yes. Uh, as an Assassin's Creed game, yeah. Does your character have a hidden blade? Do you know? I I don't know. Okay. Wow, you've asked me a good question. Sorry. Yeah, no, no I, 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 
Um, I didn't. I didn't try. I'm trying to think if the arms were revealed, or whether it might, it might happen later. I don't know what stage I was playing in the game. Okay. It wasn't that one. Of, that was one of my points, really. I, ha I haven't written it down here, but it's not. It wasn't like enormously assassinsy. It was yeah. just like a game set in ancient Greece. Right. Okay. Um, there was no, not even any of the motifs. I did like a leap of faith. Right. Off, off a statue. So still lots of traversal and Yeah, climbing. yeah, but like none of the specific iconography of like, you know, there's that whole thing of like the oppressors and the rebellion, those kind of themes which have been in us. But there right. wasn't any, um, I'm sure it's there, but there wasn't any like specific stuff that they heightened like, oh, I am an assassin, I put, put yeah. my cloak yeah. on. Uh, my last thing though, number six, um, is just that Socrates was in the game and I spoke to wow. him. Wow. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, and it was again going back to the humor he's quite funny right that's and cool he kind of asked me to decide the fate of like a man who's done something bad and he might be killed should i let him be killed yeah uh, and at one point you know my character is like i'm not getting drawn into another one of these discussions socrates <laughs> uh, it was very funny it was very good and i like uh, assassin's creed ne has never shied away from putting in historical figures exactly. into the games that's really really cool yeah so uh, and there might be more who knows i mean uh, ancient greece full of famous guys very true uh, so like, that's my um, slightly ridiculous list of, but six things I really enjoyed about Assassin's Creed Odyssey which I got to play for quite a long time today uh, let us know in the comments what you think of what you have seen of the game so far do like this video if you have enjoyed it stay tuned to the channel we have loads more coming up